All right, so what I've done here is I've just basically compiled uh, several uh, shots of Jupiter and uh, the positions of the moon. And look at that, three on the left and one on the right. Oh, my God. Um, here's uh, it embossed. Clearly, there's something there. Um, they are the three, the four Galilean moons revolving around Jupiter. Um, here's a really good picture right here. Um, this one, let's make it smaller. Let's see, you can see two on the right. There's one here, and there's one far off to the side. I can't get into the picture right now, but um, clearly this is Jupiter. You can see the the definition. That's Jupiter, no doubt. Here it is embossed. Uh, here's another one. Three on the left, one on the right. Um, as you can see, they change positions. Nothing is is uh, static in our universe. Everything is moving. Everything, everything is in motion. So, and, it, and the orbits are different. So, you got to understand that you know on any given night, you're going to get moons of Jupiter, and they're going to look different. Give it two days, and you're going to get a different image. That's an embossed. Okay, here's one, two, three. Four. Three on the right, one on the left. That's an embossed. You can see it still. Alright, guys, now look at this one. We've got three on the right and one on the left. Um, embossed. Look at that. Four. One, two, three, four. Io. Europa. Ganymede, Callisto. Callisto is very far away. I, um, I'll tell you the, rota the orbital periods here in just a moment. Let me just get through these. Embossed. Three on the right, one on the left. Embossed. Uh, we got three on the left, one on the right. Embossed. There it is. Obviously Jupiter. Um, look at this. We've got three right here. And look yeah. at there. So there's four uh, revolving around Jupiter. Look at that. One, two, three, four. And there's Jupiter. Um, you can't deny that's Jupiter, people. Jupiter looks like that. Okay, so I wanted to show you some uh, very interesting information. Uh, there's a website where you can actually track uh, the... Uh, the times, the dates, and the actual positionings of Jupiter uh, during those times. So I looked up, let's see here, I looked up September 5th and 6th, which um, I'm thinking uh, Donnie took this on the 5th. So what it does is it gives you, you know, everything you need to know, and but more importantly, it gives you where these are positioned. Now if you look very closely, there's Jupiter. There's Io, Ganymede, and Callisto. Okay, three on one side. And Europa is really, is going behind um, Jupiter right now. So I don't know if he picked that up, but if he did, it was very close. Um, this is a bird's eye view. See how Europa is like behind it? I don't even think you can personally see it, but he is seeing these three uh, moons right here but you've got to remember this is a bird's eye view this is the side view where he's actually seeing it and everyone else is seeing it this way so um, September 5th there were three moons uh, on the right side of Jupiter as you can see in this picture as well this was June 26 2011 look at that we got Io Europa and Ganymede on the right Callisto on the left and in the shot, look, you could even see some little red, white, and blue. And that's just due to uh, um, when you take pictures from Earth, you do get uh, a little distortions, and you do get different colors because the Earth's at atmosphere is very thick. And looking from the Earth and from a telescope is literally like bird watching from the bottom of a pool. The atmosphere does distort a lot of what we see. And that's why they put, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why they put Hubble and all these other telescopes in space because um, it, it, everything is so much more clear to see. And I'm sure you've seen pictures of Hubble and, and uh, they're absolutely amazing.
All right, now the orbital period of Io around Jupiter is only 42 hours. It's less than two days. Uh, that's the closest one to Jupiter. Now, let it be known, Jupiter has 63 known moons. Most of them are captured uh, asteroids, and they're not even uh, round. But um, there are many that are. Uh, there's not just four moons, people. There's 63 known and counting. Uh, orbital period of the next uh, ne the next moon of of Europa uh, is 1.769 Earth days, so it's a little over a day and a half. The orbital period of Ganymede around Jupiter is 7.154 Earth days out a week, and the orbital period of Callisto around Jupiter is 16 plus Earth days. So. Uh, you get the idea that these move around Jupiter and they're not going to look the same. It's three-dimensional and it's not static, it's dynamic. What dynamic means it moves. And static means it's it doesn't move or change. Uh, which we all know everything moves in space, people. And uh, this is uh, the explanation of the three moons behind Donnie Gilson's uh, almost very good picture of Jupiter. He's getting better at it, but he still needs to learn how to focus in a little bit better. Um, but I do applaud him for actually finding the Galilean moons. So what I've done now is I've actually taken um, the uh, coordinates of the day I took my picture of Jupiter, which was on August 27th. There was a new moon, so I, I, I remember the date. Uh, as you can see, there are two on the right and two on the left. Uh, Callisto and Ganymede are on the left and Io and Europa on the right. I will show that picture to you here in just a moment. Uh, this is a very useful website. You can literally look up every single day for the past several years of where the moons were positioned um, at any given time. So um, I urge you guys to check it out. Um, it's astronomy.fm. Uh, forward, forward slash sky logs and uh, you should be able to find it from there. I also wanted to give you guys just a quick overview of what I showed in my previous video about Jupiter and uh, this is before Donnie came out with his so he obviously watched it and uh, he probably gained a little uh, educational knowledge about astronomy which is good. Um, there was one shot that he took um, that looked like this this is my shot, but that is Jupiter. Uh, so I took an actual focused picture, and this is what I got. Um, and I took several. Okay. All right, now that's Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto. And I just wanted to share that with you because that's that's a shot I got on, I think it was August 27th. Um, and... Um, as I show, as I will show you, um, that is the exact positioning that these should be in. I also actually want to uh, kind of forecast something right here. We're, we're, I looked up the dates for September 8th, and I'm sorry, September 7th and 8th. I have a feeling that Donnie's going to concentrate on this for a while. I'm sure if he watches this video, he probably won't, but he will bring it back up soon. But I want to show you what the moons are going to look like uh, on the 7th and 8th. Check this out. We have got Europa and Io on the left and Callisto on the right. Okay. Um, it looks like Ganymede is way out of the picture right now. I'm sorry. Ganymede I believe is, be is moving behind the uh, planet so you can't see it. But Tonight and tomorrow night, this is what you're going to see. Two on the uh, left, one on the right. And um, I don't really know what, what else to say, but I mean, this is just logic. It's reason. It's science. It's, it's Jupiter. There's no doubt. No doubt at all. All right. And in conclusion, I'm going to bring you back to this uh, astronomy.fm website, and uh, I'm doing the September 5th through 6th um, Jovian moon um, and, and their positionings. And 
since Donnie came out with a video on the 6th, which is yesterday, uh, he obviously had to have taken these on the 5th. So um, we're just going to go back to it. Uh, if you want to look all the statistics and all that on all of it, feel free to do so. Um, but what we're going to see here is uh, right here, this is the shot that he took Io, Ganymede, and Callisto. There are three moons behind Jupiter on the 5th. So, at any rate, I hope I've proven the point here. And, uh, Donnie, you, you actually debunked yourself. I hate to say it, but uh, look up the date, and uh, your picture looks just like this. Um, good job.